Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So today we're going to jump straight into a mission. Um, last episode we pulled off a couple missions, picked up some good gear. Had, had, haven't had a chance to install it yet, but I want to do. I want to drop straight in now because we're getting close to the month, end of the month. I want to see how, how much we can get in before the end of the month. Uh, but we're going to take drop interception today. It is against Clan Jade Falcon. Um, they've been ripping us off the past couple missions we did for them, uh, taking stuff from us. So we're going to go after them. So let's negotiate this. I'm going to go full salvage. See what we can get from them. And we're going to run with our standard lance. And we're going to deploy and get this sucker done. Alright, here we go. Okay, a couple of lances looks like. Alright. Head up, stick on the ice, don't get beat. Let's use these rocks here and this hill here to give us some cover and grind up whatever decides to come in. At least our support lance back here is in a relative area to uh, engage in here. Get up on this side. It's nice that this Apollo's got some speed to it. Orders. Stay with Goofy, he'll show you what to do. To determine best terrain for this guy like I think we want to be direct if we can but if we gotta take indirect we'll take it you know what let's move into here Roger that. you got a fair bit of armor so you're all right there I'm still terrified to find out what they got up here yeah, yeah. We need, to, we need to do as much flank and spanking as we can here. Don't think, don't shoot, just run. I call it a flank and spank now. But in uh, uh, Lord of the Rings Online, and I'm sure in other games as well, it was known as tank and spank. So I, I used to play a tank all the time, and basically the idea was that you just... Uh, the tank grabs the aggro and basically runs through the enemy to get them to, oh my god, to get them to uh, turn their back on the rest of the group. Okay, Kit Fox, alright. So basically you, you, as a tank, you grab aggro, you run through the enemy, they turn to face you, and then all their backs are, are facing the rest of your group and you tank them and the rest of the group spanks them and that was the tank and spank but this one we're going to try and flank and spank don't know if it'll work but we'll see what we can do with it I'm hoping some of them move forward here in this case it's having that uh, that uh, good initiative right now is working against us because they're not close enough for us to be able to do what we need to do here how far can you get? Not far enough to do anything. Do we want to get you up in here though? I don't think so. I think we want to reserve. Reserving too much might be a, to our detriment, but maybe not. Svantovit. So this is a Hellbringer, right? See if we can get as much as we can off that. Gear Falcon, 55 tons. Kit Fox, there's five. There's got to be three more somewhere. Adder. Okay, what else we got here? 
A Nova? Okay. Love to have that thing. Ready for order. Piece of cake. Let's, uh... Say hello to our little friend up here. Ooh, really. Still gonna fire. A lot of AMS is on that thing. I'm sure the whole shoulder, that those three things on the shoulder are supposed to be AMSs. The uh, most brilliant AMS video I've ever seen is the beef, where he just basically, I think he's got AMFs and a flamer. And he basically goes behind the enemy lines <laughs> to find the, like he's got stealth, right? So he goes behind the enemy lines to find the uh, enemy missile mechs. And then he proceeds to uh, either stand behind them or try to get on top of them by using jump jets to jump on top of them. And then just waits for them to fire their missiles and uses his AMSs just to shoot the missiles down. It's the most brilliant video I've ever seen. Uh, let's tag this guy as well. Now... Okay, you got a regular griffin down here. They stay grouped up like this. It's going to be very difficult to do what I want to do with these guys. But if we can bounce them left, right, we can sure as hell be shooting people in the back. There's seven on the board now. There's one left somewhere. Let's hope it's not another 65 tonner. Commander. How far can you get? Not far enough. So your rack is on the right arm. Let's turn the left side. Really bad chances to hit, but we'll just fire three for now. Okay, one hit. I'll take that. Beautiful. Okay. No idea what the hell to do to this guy. Good luck with that. Commander? Can you get up here? No idea what our chance to hit is, eh? If we go here, it's a bad spot. Okay, we got another vehicle up here. I don't feel so bad now. Let's get in here. We're gonna leave off the uh, barrage. Yeah, this guy. Ugh. Gonna be a fun fight. At least our guys here are slowly moving up. Got an adder, an adder, Svantovit, Zora, and a thorn. Well, they're gonna be getting eaten breakfast for eating for breakfast, but as long as they shoot at them oh and not God. us. That's a back shot. Wide open though. Let's 
Still a back shot here, though. Let's move into here. See what we get. Shit, another guy. Nova Prime. Uh, that's a lot more than I thought. There's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so far. Well, it's better on this guy. Gonna leave the barrage off so we know we have a better chance to hit. Firing. Firing. Can't keep that up. These guys are fully armored too. This is gonna be a really tricky battle. Yeah. They're not moving though, so it's kind of a benefit to us. But we gotta pull this Nova down. If he's the only one on this side, I really hope this isn't three lances. Ready for orders. Roger. Full speed. Let's get over here. Got another beep. Oh well, don't see anything. Alright, firing on this guy? That's a lot of energy weapons. All weapons are go. Oh crap, man, really? Dude. Let's hope he's already gone. Oh man. Acknowledge. Feel weird about this right now. Twenty four percent. Let's go on this guy. Okay. Man, really bad chances to hit. This guy's got really low armor though. 32%, huh? I think we're better off on this guy. Try to take him as quick as possible. Yeah, I don't know. That Nova's going to be going before the guys over here. I'm hoping we can get around behind him, though. He's got mostly, I think, mediums and smalls. ER mediums and ER smalls, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Got a yeah, Ferg, you. Wow. Yep. Uh, okay. Well. Want to give these guys a target, or do I want to... Let's 
going to be harder for them to hit me. I got stealth and everything, right? Well, it's marginally better chances to hit. That's a lot of heat, though. Let's leave these off. Take what we can. This guy looks like he's overheating, though. So I don't feel so bad about that, not shooting at him right now. The adder's turning his back. Okay, I saw another mech back there. Wow, nice hits. Yeah, he's overheating. I saw. I thought I saw another mech back here. Oh, there's something there. What? Vehicle? I thought there was something. There is something right in here. Let's just go with four. Ah. Yeah. All misses. I guess so. Just back up over to here. So we're going to gang up on that uh, Nova over here. I think they've got 12 guys. It says support lance and enemy units. So I don't know. Yes, Commander. That's a side attack. Lousy chance to hit, but we're taking it. As you wish. Make sure we leave that tag off. Oh, wow. Well, fire it all. Can't tell how we're doing yet. At least they're all back attacks. That's the benefit. Systems holding. That's the Griffin. Yeah, at least they're not shooting for me. Anything on the Hellbringer would be nice, guys. Anything. I think once we pull that guy down, I'm going to feel a lot better. They still have a lot of stuff on the field that could just wreck us, but that guy with the amount of armor he's got, he's got to go fast. Beautiful. Look at that chance to hit. As much as I want to do a uh, cold shot, I, I, I just can't afford to, to miss. Okay, beautiful. Critical hit, Commander. Back up over here.
Yeah, let's get into here. I've got the armor. I would rather have them targeting me than anybody else. And there's our target firing. Two hits. Yeah. All right, let's resolve Goofy first. Um, oh, really, eh? All right, let's see what we get with this. Okay, penned anyway. All right, let's see if we can get anything on this guy. Oh, nice. Critical hit, Commander. Beautiful. He's taking some serious CT back damage, I believe. We don't have very many people left. Dallas and Gundal, or uh, Hellion, I mean. Oh. What do you think? Should we multi-target? At three percent, I don't think so. Just fire on this guy. See what we get. Uh, SRMs, yeah, leave them on. Right. <sighs> At least we got one hit. That Nova man, I don't know. He's gonna be going now. Let's find out where he ends up. Oh, he's just going to sit there. I think because of his stability problem. Figures it's probably a better idea to sit there, but... Little benotes to him, it's not. Oh, that's interesting. They are using the cover up there, i got to say. In the old... Uh, version these guys would just all move forward so they're at least they're using some cover and hiding behind the hill there kind of making us come to them but I think I don't know not doing very much firing so they're not going to win by just sitting there of course, if I make a mistake and push too hard, they can destroy me relatively easy. Okay. Yeah. You know your job. Just go with the four. Okay, another hit. Beautiful. More hits, the better. Keep putting damage on them, guys. Come on, you guys got the missiles. Use them. 
Oh yeah. I think we're getting extremely lucky so far. Like I said, if they decided to push, it would have been a far different match. Especially since they all have pretty much have full armor. They're kind of using that uh, Hellbringer as a uh, tanking unit, getting us all to shoot at them. But the rest of them aren't really doing anything, so it's not like it's helping. Yeah, it's one thing I miss is uh, playing Lord of the Rings online. Playing a tank was always fun, especially in six-man um, fellowships. You get to uh, take all the damage while your team does all does deals all the damage. It's always fun to try and keep aggro from everybody. We had a champ in our group that would always try and pull aggro off me just to see if he could do it. And he could. He was good at it. He was really good at it. There's only a handful of times I was able to keep pulling it back off him. Because his damage outlay was just so ridiculous. As a tank, you're never really worried about damage. You're always worried about aggro. It's always good to do extra damage, but because it added a bit to the aggro, but it was just uh, all your aggro skills like taunting and stuff to keep them on you. I used to play a dwarf tank too. It was, uh, it was always good. It had a couple of little extra skills that, as a dwarf that you could use to uh, do damage mitigation and stuff as well. It helped out. Especially with spike damage. Sometimes you get bosses that had ridiculous amount of spike damage. You. Uh, I'm giving you the kill. Stay hidden from the other guys, please. Position confirmed. And burn this guy, please. Let's see how you like this. Thank you. Tango down. Okay, freeze up a bit of guys. All back damage, really low chances to hit. I can't really move in though. Fire and maneuver, baby. Fire and maneuver. It's the name of the game. I'm receiving you. Oof, really. Oh, another large hit. Beautiful. Not the right side, but at least it was a hit. We want to get a direct shot on this guy. Our barrage is up, though. Certainly. Yep, let's do it. Where'd the barrage hit? Well, way back there. Yeah, well. Well, it looks like they penned. We might take advantage of that with our LRMs. I think we will. Never mind. <laughs> they took advantage of it. All right, that's two this turn. Yeah. What can I do you for? I told you already. Five bucks. Our LRM fifteen is still jammed.
What if we should go with Swarm? Oh God, no. Nope, it's Artemis. Here we go. Handful of hits. Commander. It's a fire maneuver day. Let's, rack, let's wind this up. No, it's not. We got to sustain this battle. Let's go with four. Okay, a couple hits. Looks like we penetrated now. Okay. Feeling pretty good about this so far. This Hellbringer should come down relatively well. Two more turns probably? Depending on what he does. If we can get our streaks in here. Get on this guy fast from the side. He's going to ping probably. Oh, he's got a jammer on. We could move in and switch to Jammer here. I think yeah, somebody's pinging. Oh, it's this guy. The Hellbringer. Or was it the Griffin? May have been the Griffin. We'll see. So I'm not sure if you guys are watching my uh, Seven Days to Die series, my current one, Surviving Alpha 18, but... Uh, Ran the Horde Knight already on that one. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever experienced so many zombies in a Horde Knight in my life. It was ridiculous. Won't be posted for another four episodes yet, but I couldn't, I, I just can't believe how many. But then again, you know what, I've got the cranked, I got the number of zombies that spawned cranked up to max, so it's a lot of zombies. Like I watch people running the day 77 hordes with the regular amount, and I'm like, wow, that seems like a lot. Then I ran a day 30, and it was like, holy crap, that's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of zombies. I won't tell you what happens, but it, it's a it's a close fight at the end, I gotta say. It's a really close fight. It was nice. It was a really good mission. I think my base held up well. Uh, there's a couple things I could have done to improve it. But um, it was a little bit short-sighted on my part, but overall it did really well. I'm looking forward to running it again. I'm just going to restock my ammo and uh, do a couple modifications to the base and then just going to run it again rather than waiting to day 60 because it was really fun. All right, let's do this. Not knowing what this guy's at is like a tough... I'm gonna reserve him. Start pushing a bit. Sticking our nose where it don't belong here. Spent a bit, eh? Our arrow's back. Let's use it on this guy. Yes. Arrow missed. But it looks like he, uh, I hope that was a torso hit. No way to know. His arm looks like it's still intact, so I have no idea what that was. Can't get a very green uh, line on this guy, but we'll get in close. The Griffin's still around somewhere, is it not? What is this guy? That's not the Griffin. That's the Gear Falcon. There's a Griffin here somewhere. All right, firing. Beautiful. Nice hits. I'm going to reserve you.
Cause I got a big fuck you for this guy. Okay, we got his other side here. Oh, he's almost done. Let's leave it at well. Let's go to three. Zeus is still jammed, eh? Don't know if it's permanently jammed or what. It might be permanently jammed. In which case, I don't know if I want to put those on there. They're nice damage, but if we can't run them the whole battle, what's the point? What is the point? I mean, I guess you're front-loading the damage. But in long engagements like this, it's kind of useless. So they've got, what, four mechs and two vehicles left. Okay, so the support lines, they had five, and the main lines, they had five, so they had ten units. I got have six left, right? Two, four, six, yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, because, oh, that's right. One, two, no, we've only destroyed three so far. Four, never mind. So I just can't see somebody, that's what it is. The Kit Fox died, the Nova died, the Hellbringer died. That vehicle, excuse me, the vehicle died. So there's six of them left, there's somebody over here I can't see. This guy, we're gonna. We, this guy's our target of opportunity here. He's got to go down fast. I really hope Clan Wolf doesn't try to screw us out of uh, salvage here, because it'll just make them open target for us as well. Although it could be at higher skull planets, you lose more. On lower skull planets, you don't lose anything. I don't know. We'll see what happens. There's a lot. There's a lot to choose from. How might I help? Sure. Good to go. Yo, Goofy, back your ass up. Meh. We still got uh, Duck to come around here. Get the streaks on the side of this Griffin. If he's got a PPC in his arm, hopefully we can rip the arm off. Wow, he's just going to stay there in the fire? Sure, baby. Whatever you want to do. See what I mean though? These guys could retreat. If there was a retreat zone, they could retreat. It would also, that, doing something like that would make it trickier as to whether you take salvage or money. Right? Because if you know the enemy's got a good chance to retreat, you may want to just go with cash. I copy. That's a pretty good chance to hit. Let's fire. Okay. Okay, we got another blip down here. What's that guy? start doing a little bit of a push here. Let's go after this area, see if we can remove them. 
Wow. If he didn't own the company, he'd have been fired a long time ago. Uh, let's leave the barrage off. Well, somebody had an AMS. Wow. Where we can get hidden? Just do this. Get back in the forest. Receiving. On my way. I don't know if you get too more too many more missions like this where they're not actually doing anything. It's uh starting to kill the fun for me where they're actually not engaging with us here. It's basically becoming a turkey shoot. not doing well. Let's trash this guy. Sure as hell is. Alright, let's see what they do. I think the advent of some of the AI to these guys has really choked their ability to fight. Like trying to stabilize themselves by just standing still rather than turning into towards the enemy and standing still or just staying in the fire like this to try and drop heat. I understand that but it's becoming less effective. Like these guys probably could have rolled over me. So if we switch the board around and I was these guys and the, these guys were me, they, they, they could have easily rolled over. Like if I was fighting against myself this way, they, they probably could have rolled over us. Like I don't even know what they're doing back here. Gonna have to really uh, start analyzing some of these missions to find out which ones are playing out better and just take those because this is not playing out well at all. Don't know whether it's the map or what it is but they just do not want to engage. And his mask just rigged up over there. I'm assuming it was the mask or TSMs or something. Yes, Commander. All right, Doc. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. Don't get too close, though. All right, firing. I copy. Reporting critical hit. I can't even engage those other guys over there. Really? Well, let's move into here.
don't really want anything off this guy anyway. Yeah, kick it. Kick it. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah. Got a Nova, a Kid Fox, a Griffin, and a Gear Falcon. So I didn't see this Griffin before. Two NB, eh? He's like a submarine. Consider it done. Wow. Okay, that's multi. Uh No, we're gonna fire on this guy. Because we still have, uh, what's her name left? Hellion. God, that 15 loves to jam, eh? Oof, we're really burning the heat, this guy. Alright, firing these two. Okay, it's unjammed now. Beautiful. Beautiful! Well, that it matters. We're overheating like crazy. But we knew this mech was an overheater, so not much we could do about it. I only had a clan uh, heatsink kit to add to it. But we don't have any clan heatsink, so I couldn't add any heat sinking at all. Let's do this. Uh, sure. See ya. That there's a kill. Then there was four. Yeah, so I'm gonna, uh, you know what? As much as I want to take mech parts from this, I'm not gonna take any mech parts. We're just gonna take gear. Because this is really like a ridiculous turkey shoot. They're really not doing anything. Yeah, unfortunately. Could have been such a great fight, too. They decided to push forward. Well, at least they're moving forward now. Not sure which one of those guys belongs to the support lance, though. Gear Falcon, probably? You're a thorn in this side. You can't hit a goddamn thing, though. Something happened. I don't know what the hell that was, but something happened. Something happened. Looks like he's a little bit unstable here. Is he? I don't know. Is fire on though? Targeting for an alpha strike. Awaiting order. Okay. Alright, we are in the trees here, so that's good. We are in the trees. Put the barrage on him. 
That's kind of nice. Alright, we've got a fight going on over here now. Beautiful. Yes, Commander. I Let's get the Baraji going. Acknowledge. Yeah. Receiving you. Wow. Go with dead fire this way. Just move down here. Saves a little bit of heat, but not much. Yeah, we really got to get some double heat sinks in there. I think if we can pull like both medium lasers and just put double heat sinks in, clan double heat sinks. Hopefully we can get some out of this mission. That would be nice. Or even if we can find like a regular double heat sink kit. Because I got a bunch of regular double heat sinks we could use. There's tons of space in that thing. There's still a bunch of space left. I'm not worried about that. We still don't have an XL engine in it either. Like once we drop an XL engine, we'll have more space even. So the medium lasers could even go back in. But right now they're not really doing anything. So it's not a big deal. Not a big deal if we take them out. Yeah. You not get a side shot in that guy? Oh yeah, we can. Yep. Warlord it up. Uh, how far can we go in the rotary here? Let's just go to four. Keep the good chances to hit. Nice. I'm guessing you didn't like He's going down. Have a seat, buddy. He's just a little tuckered out. Just lie in the fire. He's lying in the fire. Yeah, shoot that griffin, baby. Shoot that griffin. Well, these guys are definitely taking a pasting. It's got to suck to to, to uh, lose two stars of max and not giving any giving anything back in return. Well, it's a good thing we got our laser mechs over here, because uh, we got our missile mechs. That Kit Fox going to be avoiding a lot of damage. Let's get in the trees. Going against the Nova still. Firing. Did gear fucking die? The gear falcon died? No, it's still here somewhere, isn't it? Fourteen. Copy that. The fuck is the gear falcon? There's only four left, but where's the Gear Falcon? Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, God, I couldn't even see it. Okay, I'm not going to move very far. Hopefully they shoot for me, since I got the most armor. 
Well, we are going to use this on this guy. Uh huh. Not my armor, though. All right, this guy's got full armor, so I mean, it's a little tricky. He's got a lot of lasers, though. Okay, so who do we got left? We got uh, Hellion. We got Goofy, and Gundal. Alright, see what we get from this. Firing it all. Oh, terrible. A little bit of damage though. Not much. He had crap armor to begin with, so it's not like we're uh, doing anything amazing to him. Okay, Valiant crit. I remember when I built a, uh, the, was it a griffin I think it was? I believe it was a griffin. With all the uh, the clan SRM6s in it. Oh man, that was crazy. With dead fire ammo, the damage on that thing was ridiculous. Uh, let's sprint down here. Well, we can't because apparently we're kind of stuck. I can't even target the gear falcon, eh? Ah, that's fine. Whatever. Just got to get up this turn anyway. Firing. Sure as hell was. Nice. Taking heavy hits, Commander. Yeah, sorry about that. Gotta get the hell out of the way, dude. Oh, I took a I took an AC hit in the torso. Yes. Three left. Yes, Commander. Now you still can't see. We tar we, I don't know if we can target that guy. Oh shit, really? Wow, really? Let me walk through the uh, fire. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, so he's counted as dead. I'm receiving you. I'm there. All right, firing. Ten four. Probably not the best move, but we're going to take it. And yeah, firing. Okay, we got his hip. Flames on the way. Wow, that's a lot of fire. Let's go with the streaks. Firing. Wow, make him unstable. Almost done here. Let's hope we get some clan double heat sinks. I really hope we get some. Reporting. Throttle down. Moving 
All right, fire all these. Yes, Commander. Good to go. Uh. Yeah, less of a chance to hit our own guys. Solid connection on that one. This guy's more liable to run away now that he's taking a fair bit of damage too, rather than turning and fighting. So we just got Hellion left. Got to get her up on the one side over here. All right, let's get Hellion. Yeah. This way, I guess. Fast as she can go. Let's see what they do. Trying to run. Stop hitting me. Well, at least it looked like it hit me. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Uh, Good to go. Let's go duck first. Let's get in here. Target this guy. Let's use everything. Um, let's just fire. Open up some opportunities. Well, wow, that's a lot of ER medium lasers gone. Now, did this guy lose his leg? He did. 38 left on this side. We should get one of the two. Beautiful. That'll save us some salvage. Hellion thinks too, still too far away. I think we just go for the kill on this guy, the last Nova. But I want to burn through his uh, right side. Or let them burn through it. Come on, bail out. Turning fire. Not much of the fire, but turning a little bit of fire. Come on, you gotta move. Don't just sit there. How might I help? Well, let's just do it. See ya. There it is, folks. Beautiful. Mission successful. All right, 130,000. Should more than cover the self-damage we inflicted on ourselves. Good uh, experience here too. It's awesome. All right, uh, not gonna take Mac parts as much as I want to, simply because that was just a turkey shoot, and I just don't feel right. Uh, ATM nine. That's actually a pretty good idea. A couple of clan ER larges. I mean, these guys can replace the regular e the regular large lasers we have on the uh, uh, hello. What is it? Whatever it is, the sixty five tonner we have, clan ER PPC, large improved heavy heavy laser. Wow, look at the damage on that guy. Uh, Clan LRM-10, pair of LRM-15s. ER medium pulses as well. God, there's a lot of good stuff here. Um, that's kind of nice too. Couple of case two, three case two. Wow. Um, 
Okay, let's look for immediate upgrades. We've got XL engines still. Don't need those. Artemis 4 we don't need right now. Glaze, what's this? Minus 12% armor weight, 30% resistance to energy attacks, minus 15% resistance to ballistic and missile attacks. Clan heat bank. God, makes me wish I didn't take the other one. I could take this one now. I think we'll probably get some clan heat sinks when we get the roll here. Laser heat sink? Minus six heat at the end of the turn. Interesting. Laser heat sink. Kit. What the hell? Minus 60 heat at the end of the turn. Ah, people can see them better, but they sink heat way better. Partial wing system clan. Oh god. Look at this. Okay, I can't say no. You know, I should take those two. I should take two. I should take two ER larges. I should, but I'm not going to. I think I might take these for the archer. Oh man. This is going to open up a lot of stuff too if we go this route. This will be a immediate upgrade for a lot of our stuff. Heat banks nice. The exchanger's even better for a laser build. We can refit our 65 tonner, I think, if we do if we go this route. All right, let's take this. Okay, outer part, Griffin part, Nova Prime part. Hellbringer part. Two ER medium laser clan. Beautiful. I need those. That's a nice core. Uh, we got the heat bank. Standard fire control system. The uh, partial wing system. And LBX ammo. So not too bad overall. That's actually a pretty good rollout. Alright. 15,000 repairs, which is nothing. So that's awesome. I think what we're going to do, probably... So this comes back five days till the end of the month. We don't really have enough to stay here because it'll be financial report. So we're going to jump. We're going to find a place to go. I'm going to get the Hades up here because I want to get that refit and the Archer refit. So we're going to do that. Hell spawn. Let's put you there. So that way it'll be four days till everything is back. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to get the mechs refit. I'm going to look for a place to jump to that's relatively close by. Relatively, you know, still same skull difficulty. Because um, I'm not really sure if there's a lot. Well, clean up the mercs. Single well-armed lance. I mean, we could, yeah, you know what, let's stay here. There could be a couple of other missions we could grab here. Uh, defend base, that could be a whole episode. But that's going to be really easy, so I'm not going to bother with that, I don't think. There's really just clean out the mercs, I think, what I want to do here. Swift Reclamation, Capture Base, in the Highlands. I mean, we could do that too, it's a clan, against Clan Wolf. So let's stay here. We've got a couple missions we can pull off. Hopefully we can do that next episode or over the next couple of episodes. Um, I'm going to get the uh, the Hades and the Archer refit with the new gear that we got. Um, I'm going to store, before we do anything else, I'm going to store the uh, fire starter for now. Um, I definitely want to re-outfit this guy, but because it's a, it's a uh, 
an Omni Mac, we can bring it back without uh, um, a real big hassle, a real, real big cost. Um, it should all come back, I believe, intact. Am I not mistaken or am I mistaken here? Yeah, because the XL engine, the core, it's all, it's all uh, included, right? So the cost to get this guy back up and running is really neg negligible. So we're going to put him in storage for now. Uh, and we're ready when we're when we are ready to build a, another scout mech. That's what we're going to use. So let's just drop him in storage. That'll save a little bit of C bills in the in the monthly uh, thing, forty thousand. So that's not bad. Uh, and I'll sell all the other GAC that we got that we're not going to use. Uh, get our mechs refitted and re ready to go, and we'll take on those missions next time. All right. So I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.